We go walking in the dark We go walking out at night But it's not as lovers do Two by two, to and fro It's one by one, one by one in the dark. We go walking out at night as we wander through the grass. We can hear each other pass But we're far apart Far apart in the dark We go walking out at night With the grass so dark and tall We are lost past recall But the moon is down And the moon is down We go your hand in mine I could shine I could shine like the morning sun like the sun to be such a special night. We are here in the Irish Embassy in London for an incredible occasion. This is Other Voices, London Calling. This is an event to celebrate the remarkable musical relationship between Ireland and Great Britain. And we had the Unthanks kicking us off. Uh, they'll be playing for us later tonight, as will Saint Sister, Mike McAldrick and Katie Mellowa. And we also have uh, something featured from the brilliant Mercury Prize winning Arlo Parks. Now, this is live. That is the joy of this evening. We are totally live. Anything can happen, hopefully nothing crazy, but a, a, lot of, a lot of good music. But we really want to hear from you. Uh, the joy of the live stream from Other Voices, as we know, is that people lock in from all over the world. So get in touch. Leave a comment on Facebook, leave a comment on YouTube, or hashtag us on Twitter, hashtag OV London, and we'll read your comments out throughout the course of the evening. But let's have some more music. Now, uh, one of the Irish music's greatest ever musicians, I'm delighted to welcome Mike McCaldrick and his band.
<laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thanks to everybody here. Also, thanks to everybody who's watching, and hello to everybody who's watching. Um, we're absolutely delighted to be here. In fact, we're just to get to meet each other, our pals, playing music again. It's a great feeling after a year of lockdown. So let me introduce you to these fantastic musicians. This is uh, Shauna, ha Shauna Davy on harp. Ed Boyd on guitar. All the way from Australia, Graham Blevins on saxophone. And the one and only Mr. Desi Donnelly on fiddle. So we just played a couple of tunes there, Slip Jig in a Reel, which was a Farewell to Wally Range and Johnny McDonald. And now we're going to slow things and play three new reels, new compositions, some new tunes. We call these The Road to Munalesa.
McColdrick and his full band and what you need to know about tonight is that the artists are going to be playing a couple of songs here, a couple of songs there, we're moving from room to room in this beautiful house and thank you for all of your comments, they're coming in. Jerry says, great opening from our own Michael McGoldrick, greetings from Derbyshire. Hello Julie who says, oh my stars, the unthanks, what a beautifully perfect start to OV London. Andre from Switzerland says he's waiting for the amazing Katie Meloa. Uh, right, time to speak to the man who has lent us his house, very kind. Kindly, uh, the Ambassador of Ireland, Adrian O'Neill. How are you? I'm very well, Annie. How are you? Thank, you, thank you for letting us crash. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> delighted, delighted to have you here and delighted to have all the other people as well. It's yeah. a great, very exciting occasion. It's just so lovely to be in a room, as Mike was saying, with artists uh, together and an audience and everyone watching at home. It just feels so wonderful to be able to do this again. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. So why did you want to do this? Well, I guess, I mean, being ambassador here for the last four years, one of the things that's been very obvious to me is that one of the great bonding agents between our two countries is that kind of shared cultural artistic space. I'm sure you've found the exact same thing in terms of living here in Britain yeah. for so many years. It's, you know, it's the great, it's the great glue uh, in terms of the relationship across, across the, the water. And I suppose we had this idea, and it's especially the case in relation to musicians who constantly are kind of, you know, collaborating together and influencing each other and inspiring each other. We had this idea that wouldn't it be wonderful if we could do this showcase in the embassy of that collaboration, of that kind of mutual inspiration, and, and then kind of bring it to the world. So here we are. And how difficult was it putting this together? Well, it took a little bit of time, <laughs> and, and it took collaboration, yeah. uh, which is always the secret of success. Yeah. And thankfully, we got the necessary support that we needed from my own department, the Department of Foreign Affairs, Department of Culture in Dublin, uh, and Tourism Ireland in terms of the resources. Then we used the creative expertise uh, of, of other voices, of course, yeah. and then the wonderful talent uh, of the artists who are here, and then lastly, the support of my own wonderful colleagues uh, in the embassy to put, to put this together. So mm. we're delighted that we're all here this evening. Yeah, well, thank you so much for having us. We won't wreck the place, I promise. Thank you, I'm relieved. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, as Adrian says, every artist tonight has a relationship uh, with England, our Great Britain and Ireland. Everyone has their own kind of, um, you know, uh, yeah, relationships with both countries and we're going to be speaking to every artist tonight and kind of finding out a bit more uh, about that but let's hear some more music now delighted uh, to bring you this next artist whose journey is quite an interesting one she started out in Georgia then she lived in Belfast for a bit and now she's residing in London it is the brilliant Katie Mellower You're like moonlight on the river And I'm looking for that silver Whatever it takes I'm not gonna stop till I have to It's so tempting to give up now When the air is getting I say to myself, everyone else thinks it's over. Well, I'm ready to end this game, cause nothing's gonna make a change. And then you show me kindness, and then you show me love. And then you show me joy I don't know where joy Think I'm too soft to make that living and For all that wishing a woman who deals better than me could be here now It's like I'm gathering up my faith But I haven't felt the sun for days And then you show me 
And then you show me laughter And then you show me joy I don't know When they take me from here I'll find my way back again I'll likely get lost on the crowded streets I'll grip with my teeth, I'll weep at somebody's feet I'll cling to your heart So when I think of your name, it's for your kindness And for your laughter And for your joy Let me feel that joy Let me feel that Thank you so much. It is just an absolute honor to be doing this this evening and to be sharing the stage with Simon Goff and Surab Melua. Thank you. When I'm there, I'll call your name. Look a little long look at how you've changed. We'll go walking on the streets and talk I'm heading home Around the hills and through the squares We'll pass the old boys playing chess We'll pick a side on the neighbor's fights I'm heading home Be there by dusk It'll just be us I'm heading home Heading home I'm almost there I'm almost there I'm heading home Taken on the mountain streets In the city split by the darkest sea I tell you about my life in London I'm heading home It's not that I miss you all the time I'm keeping busy and feeling fine I know you're proud that I left to roam I'm heading home Heading home I'll be there by dusk It'll just be us I'm heading home I'm almost there I'm heading home. 
almost there I'm almost there I'm heading performance there from Katie Mellowa and we will hear from her later. I'm looking forward to chatting with her later as well. Um, so we are here, it is Other Voices, it is London Calling, we're in the Irish Embassy, we're totally live, it's feeling great. Um, shout out to all the embassies all over the world, the other Irish embassies around the world who are all watching this and to everyone getting in touch. Uh, hello to Nell La who says waiting for Saint Sister in Dusseldorf in Germany, so they'll be coming up really soon. But delighted to have Mike McGoldrick sitting right here, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good. It's great right. to be here. Yeah, I, I loved it because you were like... Just, know, you were like, yeah. yes! I think that's the thing about playing live music again. We're back with your mates and you're playing yeah. live. You know, we've had a, a good 18 months of not being able to perform, so it's, yeah, it's great to be back I mean, you've been, you've been, you joined a band, or you started a band when you were 16, right? Do you know, uh, I joined my first band when I was still at school at 16, yeah. and I've been doing it since, uh, since, yeah. So since what 16. did you do when COVID happened? Well, I, you know, I like a lot of other musicians. Um, yeah. Kind of, it wasn't, it was by far from ideal, but teaching and doing Zoom, Right. classes and mm. kind of learning to do so, learn software to do these um uh like videos you know where you not actually meet the person but you yeah. record and they send you a video and then yeah, you, yeah. You, you you work the the pieces together so learning so sort, yeah. of, sort of learning new skills and thinking out of the box to yeah. to keep in touch with the scene and, and playing music yeah well you're someone who's had a relationship with ireland all of your life oh, due to your family right that's right well you know my grandfather played music my father played music my yeah. mother sings my yeah. cousins played music my sisters and brother played music yeah. you know there was no getting away from it really yeah. and uh, i joined the first band at 16 and do you know i love going over to ireland and i play a lot with loads of different bands over the years with luna sir with I was a guest when I was 17 with a band called Arcady. Yeah. Um, you know, I played with Donal Lunny, Andy Irvine, Paddy yeah. Glackin, uh, oh, Sharon Chris. Shannon, yeah. many, you know, John McSherry, yeah. the, the McSherry family from Belfast. And, um, and I'm, you know, I'm still playing with all them. That's, that's the, the thing about it, it's such a small network, but mm. it's huge because you can travel anywhere in the world and play music. Yeah. That you'll find that, you know, traditional music, you can travel anywhere and, Everybody's just really nice in that scene, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's a good scene to be in. And I mean, you're in Manchester, I mean, born and bred yeah, in Manchester. Born and bred in Manchester lad, what yeah. was it like to play traditional Irish music in Manchester well, in, in the era that you were growing up in, the Hacienda era? I know, I suppose Irish music saved me from that sort of scene, yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> uh, I was, I was, um, I, well, like, like I said, I joined my first band at 16, so I've, so. I've always been working yeah. on the scene. I mean, when I was 16, I was actually coming to London every weekend playing in venues around the, on the London Irish scene, like yeah. the, the, the Swanee Stockwell and different pubs, yeah. heading back to Manchester and going to school on a Monday. Wow. You know, like the band, the band would actually pick me up. Des Donnelly, who's playing music with me tonight, he was in the same band with us. Wow. We, we joined our first band when we were 16. And yeah. do you know, playing Irish music was just something normal. We just got on with it. Because yeah. we were surrounded by music from an early age, we all played Irish music. There's a big, yeah. strong Irish community in Manchester. And there was so many Irish clubs to play. And because we were in this Celtic rock band, like-minded people aged 18, 19, were all out watching this Celtic rock stuff at the mm. time. Um, we were all into the Pogues, we were all into that, you know, that scene. And it was just, you know what, it was rocking. It was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it was just yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And you were BBC Young Musician of the Year, that is that right? That was thing. I, I did. I entered the BBC uh, Musician of the Year, trad folk music. Yeah. And uh, what that helped was was get gigs at other, it just opened doors for me. Yeah. You know, I, it basically into sort of a folk scene that I didn't, um, I didn't know existed. Yeah. Because up to that point, I was just playing in the Irish community, small right. community, yeah. Liverpool, Birmingham, Liverpool, Leeds, London, mm. but within a sort of small Irish pub scene. And... Uh, yeah, it was great to win the BBC Young Musician. Mm. It really helped get gigs at festivals in European festivals and mm. kind of give a bit of Cluedo behind your name, who you were. People say, oh yeah, Mike McGoldrick, he's yeah. the BBC Young Musician. And that yeah. was 26 years ago mm. when I did that. Wow. Yeah. And come here, do you go back to Galway, where your all parents are from? Do yeah, you? yeah, all the time. Yeah, I was there last week. Oh, good. And uh, I'll be heading back in a couple of weeks' time again. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's great to have you here tonight. Thank you so Absolutely much. Delighted. And Thanks to the band as well. And you're yeah. playing again later, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay.
Great. Uh, let's have some more music now then. Delighted to bring you Morgan and Gemma, otherwise known as Saint's Sister. It's time we talked about the funny way you move your mouth when you look at me. I guess I always knew, but then a part of me was crying when you said, okay, let's talk. Darling, what did you expect? Lover hasn't noticed yet what's happened I don't want to watch the train Always heavy or more rain and dynamite I, I, oh. Walk me to the northern end Street and I pretend it's meant to be. Passers by do not be 
react when you give me a heart attack. I will my bite. Never mind what people say. I'll talk to you whatever way I want to. Something about last night is doing something to the light that's cold. Speaking to Saint Sister later, they'll be playing again later tonight on London Calling, a very special live stream from the Irish Embassy. We are here, we have a live audience, we have yous watching at home, and it's great to hear from you. Hello, Chris, who says, loving the fact that it is a proper live broadcast. It makes me feel connected to all of you watching. Have fun, everyone, and stay safe. Uh, also, hello from Argentina, Port of Spain, Birkenhead in Tennessee. James on YouTube says, absolutely stunning, Saint Sister. They never cease to amaze me. There you go. Uh, now I'm delighted to welcome Katie Mello. How are you? Hi, Annie. I'm great. How are you doing? Isn't this amazing? Oh, it's just so wonderful. Yeah. Such, it's just all very warm and pleasant, the atmosphere in here tonight, right? Um, so how are you, firstly? Great. Just so happy to be out of the house, yeah. at a show, you know, with incredible musicians. I mean, the talent in here at the moment is outstanding. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, just honoured to be here. Good. Well, we... Um, are talking a lot about geography tonight and um, the artist relationships with, with Ireland and the UK. And I was saying you had quite an interesting journey too here. You came from Georgia via Belfast to London. First of all, what kind of influence did Belfast have on you? And, and what age were you when you lived there? So I moved away from Georgia when I was eight years old. So my yeah. family emigrated. And dad actually was working as a doctor at the Royal Victoria Hospital. Right. Um, and I found in Northern Ireland, I went to a Catholic school. My brother happened to go to a Protestant school. Right. And uh, in, in the school that I was at, they got me to learn the tin whistle, Irish dancing. Yeah. I also had a really fantastic singing teacher called Margaret Parkinson yeah. in Belfast. And uh, I'll never forget her lessons. They were really, really great. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Northern Ireland just really has stayed with me. Um, their way of telling stories, that kind of closeness and connection and communicating, you know, those are really influential things. I always found the sense of humour there as well, something oh, yeah, real special. Good. Definitely, <laughs> very true. Yeah. Although, you know, I mean, I, I speak pretty good English, but I find humour is a, you know, a particular thing you have to catch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, and now you live in London, right? I do, yeah. And, and what does living in London do for you? And also just, just being here in England? Oh, well, London's just exciting. You know, all the art galleries, all the gigs you, you could see, you know, before the pandemic and hopefully now yeah. after. Um, I love it. You know, this is also where my management is and I have such a good relationship with my management. And, yeah. you know, we kind of, we build everything from here. Um, and hopefully we'll get on the road in a couple of years' time when things are a bit more settled. Yeah. And you put an album out last year. I did, yes. And, and how was that whole thing? Well, basically it was 
The same as always, but with everything on Zoom. So all the promo, all the interviews was via Zoom, which was fantastic because it meant I could, I basically learned to cook at home. Yeah. So I've never really been good in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the pandemic has given me a chance to sort of get my roots down a bit. Yeah. And then we're actually launching um, an acoustic version of the album. Yeah, I saw that. And uh, yeah. I'm so excited about it. Yeah. It's really beautiful recordings. So this album, I always think an album is like a really good kind of document of an artist's life. You know, it's kind of, you can look back and tell the story of your life through the albums you put out. What story does this album tell about you? Actually quite a lot of stories. Um, first one, maybe that struggle of balancing work and life. Right. I mean, I've always been really obsessed with what I do, like mm -hmm. to have the luck and the fortune of making music and it be a job that I can sort of do all the time without having to get another job. It's just such a blessing. Yeah. And so it kind of, you sort of feel constantly almost grateful and guilty. Right. And so it means you sort of work, work, work. But then of course your time at home becomes, you know, very minimal. Mm -hmm. So that, that balance, some of the songs address that. We're going to sing a song called Leaving the Mountain later, which is, mm -hmm. you know, about that time, um, you know, trying to treasure those moments with family. Yeah. And then, um, relationships you know that always kind of comes into things yeah. also because in a way i'm kind of obsessed with the um you know with the notion of the love song i've sung a lot of love songs yeah. and i sometimes wonder what that does to our perception of reality yeah. um because you know romance is sort of everywhere in culture yeah. but you know there is sometimes a bit of a, a distance between love in culture and songs and movies and, and love in real, real life. life. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're going to sing for us later. Yes. And there might be a little collaboration going on as well, right? Oh my God, I'm so excited. Saint Sisters were so kind to suggest a killer song okay. by a brilliant Irish writer called Lisa O'Neill. Yeah. And so they've actually introduced me to her work and yeah, yeah it's spectacular. Wonderful. So we're going to hear that later. Thank you so much for now, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now for a really special moment, actually. Uh, I was lucky enough to be in the room, in the church, when this happened at Other Voices in Dingle. Arlo Parks, Mercury Prize winning Ar Arlo Parks, came to Other Voices um, a, a couple of years ago now. And um, she wrote a poem uh, when she was in Dingle. She was so moved by her experience there. So what you're going to see is her in the church in front of an audience, just taking out this poem and reading it, and then you're going to hear her perform her song, George. A poem for Dingle. The wind here is like diamond to the soft skin of my cheek. The sky is open a gorgeous gradient of cruel grey and angel white. I've always felt at home by the lip of iced water. The Atlantic has always been a cool and familiar grace. Ever since I dipped my little feet into sand and shell and seaweed when I was eight years old, the cold made me laugh from the guts, even then. I would grin through the shivers, through the dull ache of numb hands in a warm house. My grandmother's place was always a furnace of cinnamon, caramel, and dark liquor. She would smother me with hot chocolate and tales of mid-December swims. Now we pass the distillery, and I begin to remember the burnt brown bourbon heat of a boy I used to love. His face was a knot of shattered light, a mess of angles, words shingle to my skin, a field of crushed shamrock and pale grass. We would, we would listen, listen to, to folk, folk music, music and move in ways only water would understand. His eyes were black soil after long rains, his mouth a stutter of golden indecision, elbows dropping into puddles of stale lager, stare plugged into the wood of the bar stools every time he talked about home. I look out to the waves and wonder what happened to him. A shopkeeper motions to the beach. We are wind whipped and eager. He speaks of the skin of bottlenose dolphins, the shimmer of mackerel, and how long Guinness needs to settle until it's perfect. I call my best friend, and she says I sound happier than I have in a long time. I am no longer sober, no longer scared. Someone is singing. Everything seems ridiculous, wet, and beautiful. My hands smell of hunky-dories, and an old couple are dancing quietly. 
lost in a mist of invisible sunflower petals and stolen breath. On and go and feel a purple ripple of bliss, a sense of being safe in the hands of a place, a softness. This slice of paradise stays with me, like a love song stuck in the back of a girl's throat. I am grateful to be here. I am so very grateful to be here. Sitting alone, washed by the sound of other voices, carried by the Irish wind. Thank you. Parks from St. James's Church in Dingle. What an incredible performance and it's made me so excited to get back to Dingle in 2021 and it's only a few weeks away. I can't believe it. Right, 
Thank you to everyone getting in touch. Matt says, I've got my screen over here. This is bringing a beautiful, warm vibe to my working evening. I'm listening in Dorset. Also, there's lots of hellos from Kilcool and Wicklow, Albuquerque, Staffordshire, Boston, Charlton and Manchester. And Kevin Conlon says, what a wonderful gig to join us all together. Can you say hello to my wonderful daughters in Berlin, Zoe and uh, Hannah in Strasbourg, OV forever. I love that, bringing people together with beautiful music. Um, Talking about beautiful music, let's have some more now. These uh, are sisters who sing together, and uh, I'm really looking forward to speaking to them later and talking about how singing has a kind of role in their relationship as sisters. They are the brilliant, the unthanks. <laughs> For a secret never told Devil, devil, I defy thee Devil, devil, I defy thee Devil, devil, I defy thee The magpie brings us tidings Oh, the magpie brings us tidings Of news both fair and foul She's more cunning than the raven More wise than any owl And she brings us news of the harvest of the barley, wheat and corn And she knows when we'll go to our graves And how we shall be born One's for sorrow Two's for joy Three's for a girl And four's for a boy Secret never told Devil, devil, I defy thee Devil, devil, I defy thee Devil, devil, I defy thee She Brings us joy when from the right, grief when from the left. Of all the news that's in the air, we know to trust her best. For she sees us at our labour, and she mocks us at our work, and she steals the eggs from out of the nest, and she can mop the hole. One's for sorrow, two's for joy Three's for a girl and four's for a boy Five's for silver, six's for gold Seven's for a secret never told Devil, devil, I defy thee. Devil, devil, I defy thee. Devil, devil, I defy thee. Now the priest he says we're wicked. For to worship the devil's bird Ah, but we respect the old ways And we disregard his word 
For we know they rest uneasy As we slumber in the night And we'll always leave out a little bit of meat For the bird that's black and white One's for sorrow Two's for joy Three's for a girl And four's for a boy Five's for silver Six for gold Seven's for a secret Never And hello, we are the Unthanks, Becky, Rachel and Neofa, and it's such a pleasure to be here to sing for you. That was a song called Magpie, written by Dave Dodds. So um, we're going to sing you another couple of songs now, a couple of Geordie wedding songs from our neck of the woods. And um, the first one is called, Well, I'll get wed in our old, I say old clothes, that's a better translation, Ald Clades. And um, then the next one is a traditional song that we got from the singing of a wonderful family from County Durham called the Elliots. And um, it's a Hoyt song. And a Hoyt song means a throw out. So um, it's a tradition that I think, I don't know if it is maybe in Ireland too, and throughout um, definitely the north of the UK um, where when a couple gets married, they have to throw pennies into the street um, or else... People call them greedy. And that's what the song is about. So there you go. So always remember to throw pennies in the street if you get married, okay? Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Who knows when we'll get new? Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Who knows when we'll get new? The tail has gone a courting. The tail has gone a courting. The tail has gone a courting. He hasn't got time to sew. The tail has gone a courting. The tail has gone a courting. The tail has gone a Courting. He hasn't got time to sew. Well, I'll be married on Monday. Well, I'll be married on Monday. Well, I'll be married on Monday with all the week to rue. Well, I'll be married on Monday. Well, I'll be married on Monday. Well, I'll be married on Monday with all the week to rue. Well, I'll be married in Sandgate. Well, I'll be married in Sandgate. Well, I'll be married in Sandgate along with a jovial crew. Well, I'll be married in Sandgate. Well, I'll be married in Sandgate. Well, I'll be married in Sandgate. Get along with a jovial crew. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Who knows when we'll get new? Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Well, I'll be wedding our old clays. Who knows when we'll get new? The tail has gone a courting. The tail has gone a courting. The tail has gone a courting. He hasn't got time to sew. The tail has gone a courting. The tail has gone. The tail has gone a courting, he hasn't got time to sew. Hi, can he man hoy a hapney oot, a hapney oot, a hapney oot? Hi, can he man hoy a hapney oot, or else I'll call you greedy, you greedy, you greedy, or else we'll hoy a hapney oot. Me father's in the spoot and I cannot get him oot. Hi, can he man hoy a hapney oot? Me father's in the spoot and I cannot get him oot. Hi, can he man hoy a hapney oot? Greedy, greedy, or else we'll hoy a hapney oot. Hi, can he man hoy a hapney oot? A hapney oot, a hapney oot. Hi, can he man hoy a hapney oot? Or else I'll call you greedy, you greedy, you greedy. Or else we'll hoy a hapney oot. You greedy, you greedy. Or else we'll hoy a hapney oot. <laughs> Thanks uh, here at other.
the voice of Susan London Calling in the Irish Embassy. You are loving it. Thank you. Keep your comments coming. Hello, Caroline, who tweeted, Unthanks have our heart here in West Kerry. That's from Nellie, Bobby and Caroline, two Jack Russells and a dub woman. Um, hello to Mike Prince, who says, What a privilege to share this evening. Wonderful performances already. Thank you. And Kevin, who tweeted, Other voices never disappoint. I find so many new artists to listen to. Thank you for all involved. Well, Kevin. You might be Saint Sisters, you biggest fan. Um, hello, Saint Sister. How are you? Hey. Well, yeah, yeah, really good. How are you good. doing? It's great to have you here. So thank you. First of all, pleasure. Um, tell me about the roles that you guys play in the making of your music. Who does what? Well, it's something we just figured out ourselves this year. Um, <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, after a couple of years of not quite knowing how the songs came out, I think um, this year was just like a little bit of space. Um, I would write the lyrics and melodic content and then we'd build on that with Gemma and then she'd build the world around it, all the instrumentation and everything yeah. else, production. So you've kind of found your, your places now? Yeah, I think yeah. The, like, the smartest thing you can do as a musician is first of all realise what you can do and then realise what you can't and yeah. I think that's maybe one of the reasons we're still together as a band and still uh, kind of gelling so well is that we fit the yeah. other thing that the other doesn't do. Yeah. And did, did, Gemma, did you always want to be in a band? Is that something you always wanted? Like, I didn't, I, I've always played in like folk bands and traditional yeah. bands and stuff growing up, but I hadn't really worked. And I've always been more in, in the world of like instrumental composition and arrangement yeah. and that kind of thing. So I think that's why I probably hadn't thought about it, but then pairing up with a songwriter was kind of the perfect thing. Yeah. And is it true, uh, Morgan, that you sent Gemma a message was like, do you want to be in a band? <laughs> yeah, um, we didn't really know each other. We, uh, we'd sang in a choir together and kind of, I, I heard. Really, right? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And just at the tail end of our time there and we'd kind of been circling around each other, but not quite, um, our paths weren't really crossing. Yeah. Um, and then I heard Gemma sing a beautiful solo and I just thought her voice was so gorgeous and, yeah. um, and that I knew that she played the harp and I was kind of thinking about, um, being in a band because I was trying to do it on my own for a little while and then I think I just thought that would be a good good idea and but yeah it was a bit of a cold message we yeah. found it on Facebook. We found it recently, it was, it was quite It's funny. very long, so, it's too long, it's very yeah, long yeah, yeah, yeah. but, the, but the, the headline was do you want to be in yeah, a band with you? Yeah basically. exactly. <laughs> and, and were you quick to say yes, did you know? Well apparently it took Morgan like as the years went on she was like you took ages to reply to me and we actually found it recently so we're like I wonder what it said I replied like the next day I was like sure I so, built it up in my head yeah, yeah that was like weeks <laughs> well listen congratulations on your album thank coming you so out, much where I should end and thank Gemma you. is it true that you produced it yeah, we, we produced it together and we kind of... You joke with it. Yeah. No, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we, we co-produced the last one and um, this one we kind of were, you know, toying with a few different ideas and tried a few different studios and a few different setups and it took us a while to realise that we kind of knew what we wanted to do and just decided to go for ourselves, so... And how was that process? It was great. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. It was amazing seeing um, Gemma grow in confidence because I think we kind of knew um, from the start that Gemma could produce it, but yeah. um, we were trying different things to see maybe if we, that would work in different contexts or with different people helping out. And I think, yeah, it was just about convincing Gemma that that would be okay. It's and just about realising like we kind of knew how we wanted it to feel, but yeah. you know, we, did, we didn't really trust ourselves fully. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, it's just kind of finding the confidence early and haven't done it once before. Like, mm -hmm. if you haven't done something before, then it's hard to say that you can do it. It's going to be intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well yeah. done. Thank Amazing. You. Amazing achievement. And so you're from Belfast, Morgan, and Jemmy, you're from Derry. Yeah. yeah. What, what kind of influences did your respective cities have on you as musicians, do you think? Um, I think quite a lot, and not necessarily, well, definitely the, um, the cities, but kind of our transition. I think we're both kind of obsessed with place in different ways, and, yeah. and we both had a very specific journey of going from the north to, to Dublin for for university and kind of chasing some sort of and unidentified music. yeah world of music and, and traditional Irish music and kind of right. thinking that it was all going to be waiting there and everyone would be like come in and we're having a song right now and you're invited <laughs> and then not quite finding that and yeah. that not being anything anyone's fault but just yeah. kind of when reality and your dreams kind of um, mismatch so I think um, that's actually been yeah, a, a, an amazing thing to share with Gemma and there's a lot of things where I'm like, did you feel that as well? And, and not that we even experienced it together, but we, we both experienced it separately and now mm. I can relate. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that, that sense of like chasing something and, mm. and um, displacement. And then you found you made your own world. Yeah. <laughs> Best way for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Well, listen, thank you for being here tonight, and you're going to perform later. Oh, we need to talk about Katie Mellower quickly. Yeah. Morgan, you were a stan, right? <laughs> yes, I think we both are, but right. no, um, I, I, well, she's amazing, but um, yeah. she, what, one of the first songs that I learned as a party piece and that my, my mother would encourage me to sing for um, my aunties and stuff was a song of hers, and I just, I just think she's, yeah, she's so beautiful. And it's lovely to, to meet her tonight yeah. and to sing with her. It's, it's a real dream. Yeah. So. yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay, that's going to happen later on. Thank you yes. both. Thank you. Um, and right now, um, we're going to have some Katie right now. So she's in the next room. This is Katie Mellower. Might be going down in flames The ashes Silver butcher's ray Oh, to leave the city shouting The silent doubting The rules are set And they feel so mean and binding The leaves, they remind to forget At long tables I sit and hear my name And I see yours written High on who's to blame It's so tempting to go out there Feel unprotected And then just say, see He left me naked The leaves, they remind me To forget There's seven reasons why And yours are different to mine And then I watch them in the clouds dance But I still can't tell who won And now the bed's gone from two to one To one Going down in flames The ashes The silver butcher's ray It's so tempting to go out there Feel unprotected And then just say, see he left me naked The leaves They remind me To forget The leaves They remind me To forget Thank you so much. Um, I'm so proud of these new songs that were written over the last couple of years. And uh, we're going to do our last song now, the three of us. Um, it's called Leaving the Mountain. And it was written, inspired from a trip I took uh, with my dad on the Caucasian mountains just by the Black Sea, which is where I was born. Here it is.
much as the whiteness melted away I drive a like talking with the hills in his eyes and he mentioned a forest buried in ice he wanted to go and show it off glistening and it all came alive in our listening I could hear crisp Edelweiss just in the words that rang in my mind it really did glow like art in a gallery then it was vanishing and that place that was there deep in the land it put something new in the air down in the valley homes letting out smoke signs of landslides I saw as he spoke Dad said let's go there It's right on our way But we didn't have time to We'll see it someday He wanted to go and show it off glistening and it all came alive in our listening I could it Edelweiss, just in the words that rang in my mind It really did glow like art in a gallery In the mind, and then it was vanishing And that place in the land One of those things you try but you can't understand One of those things you try but you can understand Show it off glistening Listen Edelweiss Running our mind Out in a gallery And then it was vanishing That was there Deep in the land It put something new in the That is Katie Mellower here at Other Voices London Calling at the Irish Embassy. Um, we've got people watching all over the world. It feels really exciting. I love that we do these live. It makes it so joyful and uh, such a beautiful collective experience. Um, hello to everyone watching in Main Island, in, in uh, Canada, Sligo, Buenos Aires. I love those two next to each other. Tuscany and uh, Kiltama in Mayo. Hello, Kathy Clinton listening from Brisbane, Australia, loving it, wishing she was heading home to Ireland. And Lisa Ann Fanning saying hello from Maryland, USA beautiful music. Um, I'm delighted to welcome our next next guests. See, I nearly choked. I'm so excited to meet these <laughs> girls. It's the Unthanks. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I think we're a bit excited about yeah. being here. We're just getting that kind of giddy feeling about being in the, um, in the company of other musicians and, yeah. and hearing what everybody does. And it just feels wonderful to be yeah. back together. How yes. long has it been since you've had an evening like this, you know, playing with other musicians? Gosh, I think pre-pandemic we've done like long wow. two gigs since wow. the pandemic so wow 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 well it's great to have you here we're happy you were able to do it um listen tell me about irish music how did you end up falling in love with irish music 
I think um, coming from Tyneside, like um, there's a big Irish community there, and that's so along with like um, traditional English and northeast, particularly northeastern music. Yeah. We also that was also with Irish music. I mean, I I, I was sent to Irish dance lessons as well, right. and clog dancing. So did you have Irish room. parents or Irish in your family? Oh no, just, they just like music wow. and dancing. Yeah. I mean, I think there is way back, but you know, yeah. it, not not very recent. Yeah. <laughs> so. They're just big lovers of mm. folk music, and they yeah. would play. People like the Voice Squad, who are an um, unaccompanied trio um, who sing amazing harmonies, and we grew up being really inspired by them. And here for you, listened to them, didn't you, as well? Indeed, and, yeah. and Martin Hayes, a fiddle player mm. from Ireland, who was a big influence and inspiration to us. I remember, like, you know, we'd all, all the family would pile in the car and we'd go to a festival and camp to a, a folk festival for the weekend, and that's what we'd do all summer. Wow. And we'd listen to music in the car together, and yeah, um, a, yeah the voice squad and Martin Hayes and were Altan, two favourites. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, but neither of his parents are Irish. Yeah. Are they? Yes, they are yeah. from Leitrim and Wexford. Wow. So okay. I grew up in the London Irish diaspora. Yeah. So, you know, entrenched in the music, yeah. the Irish music scene in yeah. here, uh, from London, basically. Yeah. And, and girls, tell me about, like, the role of singing in your relationship as sisters. I'm interested in that. Well, we've always sang together because, as Becky was saying, our family loves singing, so a family party, you kind of, there's nowhere to hide. You have to yeah. sing a song or play a tune or do a dance and and uh, there's quite a big age gap between me and Becky, so we would sing together and mm. kind of to support each other. And mm. um, it's always played a big part of our relationship. When I went to uni, we used to sing on the phone. Oh, come on, and, uh, you're going to make me cry here. <laughs> Just sing down the phone to each other. Well, I was um, younger than Rachel, and I was always really shy about singing on my own. I had yeah. no interest in singing on my own. I just wanted to sing with Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> it's a soppy story, it's very but it's lovely. true. And um, yeah, we would practice on the phone. Um, at, well, you know, just, I, don't know, for right? this, I love for the idea moment. of Rachel in your uni uh, like accommodation. Yeah. Like, on the, in the, you oh, know, she's in on the, the corridor. Phone again, like, on the <laughs> corridor, not in my own room. <laughs> singing away. <laughs> but all we wanted to do was get to, well, we love singing together, mm. we love it, but yeah. we just wanted to get to festivals for free. That right. was always the plan. So I mean, we started practicing then, and yeah. it's going quite well. Yeah, yeah. How many albums in are you now? Ooh, I don't know. Have you lost count? Tenish. 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 Incredible. <laughs> I love it. And do you think, like, you know, obviously, um, Nifa, you're not blood relatives to, to the girls. Almost. Adopted. Mm. Adopted. <laughs> but, like, I am interested in the idea of, of like, the family, like, families who sing. Is mm. there something, is there a deeper level of instinct when it comes to, like, family members who sing together, do you think? I think it is instinctive, and I think it's about the amount of time you spend with somebody and how comfortable you, you are with someone. So if you're really yeah. comfortable with somebody, then you don't mind trying stuff out and making a fool of yourself, because it doesn't really matter. They've seen in worse situations, let's face it. So mm. I think that and if you... The more you know somebody, the, you can second-guess them more, can't you? And I think there's that, like, instinctual mm. thing between me and Becky. We can finish each other's sentences and mm. also mm. sing together. Harmonise. I think that has grown since we've... How long have we been in a band together, Nia? For? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Right. So <laughs> our relationship has, has grown in that time, hasn't mm, it? With, with singing and working out where we all fit in, you know, um, mm. in, well, whoever's singing the tune, and then everybody has to kind of fit around that. Mm. And, Neef is really a fiddle player, uh, but no then we kind of have up to singing intake, yeah, by year, I think. Yeah. We? Yeah, yes, and it's one of my favourite things to do, is, is to sing with is it? Becky and Rachel. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. It looks really fun. It yeah. is fun. Yeah. Singing in harmony makes you feel good. I think yeah. that's, like, it does lift your soul. It's a bit of a cheesy thing to say, but yeah, I can si imagine. singing in harmony makes you feel good. And a big thing that we've missed in lockdown is our singing weekends. Yeah. We run singing weekends in the in Northumberland and lots of people come and we all sing together. Oh and God. it's so, I'll like, it's, it's, yeah, and we go and walk on the beach and sing in the pool. God, I want to come. It sounds <laughs> so come when we open again. If we missed it so much, yeah. you know, like, just... That when you're in a room with people and you sing together, then yeah. like barriers break down really quickly and you yeah. become friends really quickly. And I think mm. that's the power of music, really. And we have a lot of friends from Ireland who do. We've made friends with so many people from going over to Ireland and, mm. and touring, but also from, from them coming to our singing weekends and then yeah. we meet up at gigs. And, yeah. and it's a really a special bond that we've, that we've uh, made, really, isn't it? Well, we're delighted you're here tonight. Thank you so much. And Thanks here's to it. many more gigs in the next year for you lot. Um, and it's time now for more music. Let's have some more tunes from Mike McGoldrick and his band. <laughs>
you. Okay, this time we'll continue with a, a tune I composed. This was inspired by Eastern European music and has a, a time signature of 7 8, which is um, uncommon in traditional Irish music. So. songs earlier on from the All Thanks and um, now we would like to join them with a, with a song. What's the name of this song Rachel? It's called I'm Weary of Lying Alone. Okay. It's, a, it's an Irish song that um, we learned from Neafa Keegan here. One evening of late as I carelessly stray I spied a fair maid in deep moon. I asked her the matter, she quickly made answer. I'm weary from lying alone, alone. I'm weary from lying alone 
My comely young damsel, come sit here alongside me and tell me of the years that have flown. For eleven gone long and seven years long, I'm weary from lying alone, alone. I'm weary from lying Other Voices, London Calling, thank you for all your messages. Catherine Carr says uh, she's tuning from Staten Island, New York. She says, I'm so glad I got the alert. Hello to Andrea, Love and Ovi, mm. London. Beautiful sound, mood and setting. Thank you from Oxfordshire. And Brennan, or S. Brennan is watching from the Aran Islands and says, the music is amazing. And um, thank you for all your messages. It's great to know that you're locked in from all over the world and the music is continuing. I'm gonna hand over now to Saint Sister. This is a song of ours, a poet, 
a lonely journey across the Irish Sea, and it's called Manchester Air. From the back of your bike, I told you I was late. You said I can't go much faster. I said no, not like that. Then I knew by your grip that you knew what I meant. Said whatever happens, this is night, it's heaven. That's what our friends say, well, what do you think? Ooh, ooh. And all of a sudden we tear on to Broadstone And you're taking bets on the first ball queen Well, I'll always beat you as long as we're sober So come on, get me drunk, win back some of your money Oh, I love you, honey, this is night, it's heaven ooh, ooh. The night felt so light in the Manchester air and I know I am angry most of the time But whatever happened to dinner in Capra Roll me up, sit me down, I'm the talk of the town Border C 
seem so small from here Yes, I'll call you from each station See you in a sugar Thank you so, so much. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here and such an honor to share the stage um, with such beautiful artists. It's been a dream listening to them all. Um, this is a big honor to welcome the beautiful Katie Miller to the stage. Um, it's so exciting to sing with her um, and to meet her. And we're going to sing a song by an amazing Irish artist who we really love. Um, it's a beautiful song called England Has My Man by Lee Sony. my mind my body is cold England's so lucky I'm not sure they know I'm feeling bold with ideas of art I don't see my baby near often enough. Now I am common than ever before. He opened the grand can of beautiful words. I wave my fears And I face the chance No one got near When we first danced England has my mind My body is cold I'm so lucky I'm not sure they know I'm feeling bold With ideas of us I don't see my baby Near often enough I don't see my baby near often enough.
That was Saint Sister and Katie Mellowa coming together on a Lisa O'Neill song, England Has My Man. What a night it has been. Thank you so much for watching all over the world. I hope you've got as much joy from this evening's music as we have in the rooms. And I want to thank you to everyone who kind of made this night happen. Uh, the Embassy here in London, of course, the embassies watching all around the world, the Department of Foreign Affairs, Tourism Ireland, the Department of Tourism, Culture, Arts, Gale Talk, Sport and Media, and of course, everyone watching at home. Thank you so much. Roll on other voices in Dingle. And closing us out tonight is Mike McGoldrick. One more time. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.